like Instagrams of my dog, but worth a look, really worth a look. Tonight, I will show you 12 puzzles. When you make it to the end of our journey, you will win some of the prize, which is $2,000. Ooh, I love it. 2,000. Also, you will start tonight's game with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on HQ. Okay, it is time to spin that wheel for some letters. Hey, since it's July 4th, I want to deliver some fun facts about America in the wheel tonight. Did you know that approximately 100 acres of pizza are served in the U.S. every day? And that's, honey, that's not enough, okay? And Alaska has the longest coastline of any state. Makes sense, it's huge. Cows outnumber humans three to one in Montana. Three to one. Cows! We gotta get some cows playing HQ words. Am I right? If you're in Montana, let them know. It is time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. Blast some Bruce Springsteen, all right? Born in the a Ready for this party? I am. Here we go. Puzzle one. Your first hint is great idea. Hey, I have one of these. It's this. Type in the letters C, O, and R. This is something that we have here in the U.S. of A. It is a system of government. The people play a very big role in this one. I know you've heard of it. There are many types of these. And the answer for puzzle one, great idea, is democracy. Of course it is, and it is a great idea. 68,765, you got it right. 13,783 eliminated on democracy. But that's okay, you know, you could always buy back into the game. Stay with us, hang out for this party. And hey, type in your, did you vote? Type in your, your thumbs up if you voted before. Or if you're gonna vote in 2020, hey, how about that? If you ever run into any trouble though, with the government or personally, you might be able to rely on this helpful crew. They're, they're from a special fictional universe. You may remember them from the comics, the toys, in mom's attic, just hanging out in a box. The helpful crew is G.I. Joe T. Check it out. Oh, it's the G.I. Joe team. That was from the cartoon. 56,584 solved the puzzle. 12,796 eliminated on G.I. Joe team. They were coming at us there. They were ready to help, help uh, all of us. Maybe they helped you move on, because we're moving on to the next puzzle. It may be July 4th, but it's also Thursday, which means I'm throwing it back for this one to a classic firework. This was one of the first kinds of fireworks. But let me tell you, despite its name, it's actually from China. And these can be very dangerous. So be careful if you're even allowed to go near them because they have been banned from many states and countries. And the classic firework is the Roman candle. Ooh, a Roman candle, you can light that and it'll just go off like a firework. A Roman candle, 47,423, solved the puzzle, 9,600 eliminated on Roman candle. But isn't it funny, it's not from Rome, it is from China. All right, moving on, maybe this next one will set off a light bulb above your head. Hey, do you remember the All-American Muppet? All-American Muppet. He made his Muppet debut on the TV show. He's a very patriotic character. Highly disciplined. He's also shown up in the movies. He's always giving his two cents on his feelings about America. And here's with the uh, bird of the USA, then you know it's Sam the Eagle. I am Sam Eagle. That's Sam the Eagle. 30,160 eliminated. Or any regular day, really. It's candy. Because I have a sweet tooth, and the only cure is this American candy flavor. 
That's right, you heard me right. It's a specific flavor unique to the US. It happens to be my favorite flavor too, okay? I always pick these out. There's a reason we love our snacks here, okay? We've got the tastiest things. Even if these are not great for your teeth, they're still delish. I'm talking about grape Skittles. Oh, my favorite flavor. If you like grape Skittles, Purple Heart in the chat. I love grape Skittles. 35,235 solved the puzzle. 9,500 eliminated. And true story, grape Skittles are only in the U.S. Outside of the U.S., when you have Skittles, it is a black currant flavor. But that flavor was actually, the, the, the berry was actually banned from the U.S. back in the day. So they don't make grape Skittles outside of the U.S. Fun fact, you learn something new every day. I learned about Skittles today. All right, I came up with a personal motto the other day, and that is soup has no season because I love it so much, but today is all about America. What is this American motto? It has nothing to do with soup. This is something you can find on our country emblems. It's an older one. We've actually adopted a new one. Now, I'm looking for the Latin version of this motto. You got this. You've seen it on the dollar bill. The answer is a pluribus unum. Check it out. Ooh, there it is. On the emblem, on the dollar bill. You've seen it all over the place. A pluribus unum, and it means out of many, one. But out of many, 25,980. You solved the puzzle. 9,700 eliminated. But maybe you have that one you know, extra life to save you in this game right now. Let me tell you one thing, okay? Out of all the many players, you are very impressive because you've already made it halfway through the game, July 4th style. You're making these fire words light up the night. And I love it. Can you tell? I love it. I'm so happy to be here. Can you tell me this self-evident concept? That's your hint. Is there a more truthful statement than this one? Maybe. You know your US history. kind of tough for 2019, okay, especially because I'm delivering this, and I am a female, but the answer is all men are created equal from the Declaration of Independence, 24,049, you solved the puzzle, 2,700 eliminated on all men are created equal, and you know that was tough because I'm a girl, but thank thankfully we have Beyonce who, who gave us the new declaration, which is who run the world girls, right? That's what I go by. All right, there are many ways to celebrate July 4th. Whether it's a small barbecue in your backyard or a big public party like this, type in who was spotted at the parade. Hmm. Spotted at the parade. So much goes on there. Some people participate in the parade. Others just spectate. There are usually a lot of entertaining Parade. Maybe you had a parade today. Tell me, did you catch the high school marching band? High school marching band, they're always in a parade. 20,072, you got it right. 4,266 eliminated. True story, I was once in a high school marching band. For literally one day, I played the saxophone and I didn't, I didn't like the outfit. I didn't like the march part. I, I chose concert band. But hey, marching bands, so fun to watch in a parade. Here in New York City, we are surrounded by skyscrapers and sidewalks, but I know, I know in other parts of the country, maybe where you are playing from at this very moment, there is a beautiful American landscape. I just know it. I've seen it in pictures. It's a vast place full of something that we need in our daily lives. It's a very pretty color, too, when it's all grown in. patriotic songs today? Hmm? Because that would help with amber waves of grain. That is the answer from Purple Mountain.
mountains, 16,000. I should have done it for 16,600. There you go. You got it right, 16,000 of you. And you're moving on. There are a lot of places to see in the United States, some of which I have never been to. But thanks to art, we are able to experience them in so many other ways, like this one that Mount Rushmore stars. In. Have you ever been here? Oh, it's thrilling from what I hear. It looks great. In this film, also a thriller, Mount Rushmore plays a very major part in the story. And honestly, when you watch it, it's kind of like you're up there with them. Mount Rushmore stars in, if you're a fan of Hitchcock, you might be familiar with North by Northwest. Check this out. Ooh, that was Cary Grant and Eva Marie Saint at the top of Mount Rushmore in North by Northwest, iconic movie, 14,667. You solved the puzzle, you know your movie history. 2,794 eliminated. All right, we're bringing out only the best on this holiday, okay? We've seen the iconic movie, and now it's time for an iconic song. Oh yeah, it is. This is a great song to play today. Add this to your playlist if you haven't had one already. This one's from the 70s. Great song. Here's a fun fact. It actually became an anthem of a state in the U.S. But you can still play it. I played it today. Are you a fan of John Denver? Cause here's the song. Take me home, country road. Take me home, country roads. Take me home, country roads. It's actually the anthem for West Virginia. 11,295 solved the puzzle. 4,045 eliminated. If you're playing from West Virginia, hey, shout out to all of you. That is your jam. All right, and like all good shows, this too has come to an end. Take me home, word nerd, because you are at the final puzzle of the night. You did it, you came out for a lit show, you conquered through. We started with about 100,000 patriotic prose professionals. And here we are about to see who takes home the cake. It all comes down to this. What I mean is, put it on the line. You got it, put it all on the line. Lay it down, mark that spot. This one's for the win. For the July 4th prize, the final answer is give your John Hancock, and you better sign it, sign it with your beautiful John Hancock, but sign it as a winner because we've got 8,235 winners in tonight's July 4th HQ Words, baby. You did it. You won. You're going home a little richer. Maybe you're watching fireworks. Oh, you're going home with 25 cents a whole quarter. You know what's on that quarter? A pluribus unum. Yes, it is. One Madkins coming in hot in first place. Chad 1M, word up, dude. Coming in second place tonight. Walter Huma in third place. You did it. You're going home with a whole quarter. I love seeing that. 25 cents, what a beautiful number for July 4th. And that is the game. Congratulations to all of our winners across the board, okay? From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea. Yeah, I love that song. Thank you so much for coming out to play HQ Words on this beautiful day, this beautiful night. I have had a blast spending my July 4th with you. And I'm so proud of you. I really am so proud of you. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm Anna Roisman. That's right, I've been your host. You can follow me here on social media. Send me pictures of your fireworks or else, did they really even happen, right? You gotta take photos. I'll also take hot dog, hamburger, or rib photos. That's what I will take. I will see you back here at 9.30 p.m. after trivia on Tuesday night. Mark your calendars. So until we meet again, go have an amazing holiday weekend, and God bless the USA. I love you, word nerds. Good night and goodbye.